Hey everyone, Austin here again with another Let's Play video. Today it's going to be a Game Boy game. Uh, something we haven't done in a very, very long time. If ever? I'm trying to remember the last Game Boy Let's Play I did. This might actually be the first Game Boy Let's Play, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, Batman on the Game Boy. This is actually a really, really fun game. I, I was actually really surprised by it. Um, I, I had a friend that owned it back in the day, but I never got to play it myself. Um, I did see screenshots and like Nintendo Power and so forth. Um, but yeah, it, it looked kind of gimpy actually. It looked really bare bones, very basic, as many very early Game Boy games were. This was a very early Game Boy game. Uh, but I was pleasantly surprised the other night on stream when I played through it. Uh, it's actually a lot better than I uh, gave it credit for based on the old screenshots. And I do highly recommend playing this game as it's actually a quite a quality Batman game. Maybe not as a Batman Batman game, but as a video game, it's it's great. And uh, let's go ahead and hit start and jump into it. And uh, so Batman on the Game Boy is um, it's a platformer. And obviously, as you can see here, it's kind of loosely based on um, the 19 was it 1989, the, the classic Tim Burton Batman film. Uh, great movie. That's actually really st still a lot of fun to watch today. Uh, I need to watch that movie again, actually, come to think of it. Um, so yeah, it does have some story sequences. Uh, they're not very long in this game, fortunately, so I'm going to go ahead and just let them play out. Um, so here we go. We've got Batman. Uh, like I said, it looks kind of gimpy. I mean, look at Batman. He's just super tiny in this game. Um, but it is a game where you shoot. Uh, you run, you jump. You can actually control how high your jump goes. If you just tap the jump button, you can do little baby jumps. Um, and, uh, in a way, this game actually kind of looks like, uh, Super Mario Land with, like, you notice these tiny platforms here. Um, but it, it's actually, I think it actually looks more appealing than that, because, like, the platforms have little bits of shading on them. And, uh, the graphics in this game actually aren't half bad. Like, you guys will see what I mean the farther we get into it. But, uh, yeah, so let me go ahead and try to explain what's happening here. So in the top right-hand portion of the screen... Uh, you've got a couple of uh, meaningful things. Uh, obviously, you have like the stage you're on. Uh, there's only four worlds or acts in this game, so it goes one 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 two one three boss. You know, in that fashion, it's got like twelve or thirteen levels total. It's not super long. Um, as you can see, you've also got a score meter. Uh, score is important because you can earn extra lives from points. Uh, you have uh, your Batman. Uh, lives denoted by the uh, Batman symbol uh, times three. Uh, that little bar in, up there in the top right hand portion of the screen, that's also a health meter. So it's not one of those games where it's one hit kills. You do have a good chunk of health to work with. Uh, and then the uh, indicator just above that is uh, what weapon you have. So right now I have the, the N, so I'm going to assume this stands for normal shot. Which is basically a single shot, it goes all the way across the screen, it's relatively moderately powerful, it's not the strongest, but it's not the weakest. Um, and the one next to it denotes how fast you can shoot it, or how many projectiles you can have on screen at once. So right now, uh, I can only have one projectile on screen at once, however, you do get power-ups by hitting those uh, black blocks. That's actually a gun power-up, so if I pick that up, you notice that the end goes up to two now. So now I can have two projectiles on screen. And it's actually really important to know how that works because you can actually downgrade that completely um, optionally. And I'll sort of point that out once we get to it. Um, so yeah, now that I've sort of explained that, let's just go ahead and try to get into it. These icons right here, B, that stands for bonus points, they actually give you a lot of points. I just got 5,000 points for that. And that's actually a good chunk of points in this game. Um, the white platforms, platform blocks you can actually destroy, they're just small points, like 10 points or something like that, but there's a lot of them over the course of the game. Um, and uh, they're just really all over the place. You can use them as platforms. Uh, there's also some secret hidden platforms, little like secret sort of like, well since we're playing on the Super Game Boy, they're like pinkish blocks. And, uh, but, uh, yeah. So actually, when you go into a, a lot of sections in this game, you kind of don't want to just blast everything right away. You kind of want to um, scope out the area first before you start shooting stuff. Uh, because you might want to actually use some of these blocks as platforms, uh, which we're going to do quite a bit later on in the game. I know I'm taking it really slow right now, right now but I just want to sort of like explain everything for you. 
Uh, so that's a heart right there that actually give you, gives you some health back, which I can actually use. Uh, one of the great things about this game is you can actually control your jump. Uh, Batman is very floaty in this game, um, and it might take a little while to get used to, but uh, it, it actually controls very smoothly, and um, it gives you a lot of uh, leeway over, um, you know, jump control, which is great. So you're going to be thankful you can control your jumps later on in the game. Um, so a lot of levels also have multiple ways you can go through them. So in this instance right here, we're going to take the top path and just sort of like skip those power-ups down below. And uh, I guess that's it. I wonder if there are any uh, secret blocks here. No, apparently not. Let's just go down and kill this guy. So now what's really fun about this game is that I'm taking it like super slow right now. Um, but when I was playing it on stream, when I beat the game for the first time, I went through it a second time, and I just literally blitzed right through it. It was so much fun. Um, so this power-up right here, W, it stands for, like, uh, I'm gonna assume wavy shot, or wave shot, kind of like in, uh, Metroid. Notice how your shot, like, waves up and down. This is actually my favorite shot in the game, because it, it covers the most screen space. And let's see what this black block is here. More bonus points, let's go ahead and get that. So, if we can stay on the top here, um, from this point on, um, there's going to be a power-up towards the end. So, we want to use these as platforms, and hit that, and hit that. So, that little, uh, sort of like Batman symbol is actually a shield power-up, and, uh, it basically, uh, for every one of these little bat symbols you have, um, it actually acts, each one acts as a shield. I've had up to three at once. You might be able to get four, maybe even more. Um, so those are actually really good to have, especially towards the end of the game, once things get more difficult. So, uh, every level ends with pretty much a, a doorway like that, and, um, that leads you into your next stage. We're on, uh, level 1-2 now, and I'll go ahead and start to, uh, speed things up a little bit. Uh, one of the great things about the wave power up here, is that you can actually shoot through walls. Extremely useful uh, later on in the game. Some power-ups don't let you shoot through walls, so this is a very good power-up to have. And there's another a, uh, another bat symbol there, which uh, we've got two now, so we can take two hits for free, basically. And you can kind of see where the wave power-up is coming in handy, because I'm shooting through the wall and taking enemies out early. Uh, the hearts, unfortunately, don't really give you anything when your health is already full. So that heart didn't really do me any good. I don't even think it gave me any points. Uh, I wasn't really paying attention. And so we got two letters here. We've got, uh, or just one letter. We've got that little icon. I'm not sure what that plus-ish plus, plus -ish icon was doing. I don't know if it was like points or something like that. Um, P is another weapon power-up, which I, I don't want. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just play it safe and stick with the wave power for the whole game. Um, but, you know, I, I highly recommend checking this game out, guys. I think it's a, a really fun game once you get the hang of it. Um, and, uh, so I'm not gonna spoil everything for you and show you every single weapon. But, uh, I do recommend checking it out and trying this stuff out for yourself. Alright, so this is a r major point of contention here, and, and it took somebody watching my stream, uh, to let me know what was happening. And so this power-up is like the opposite of the first gun power-up I got. You'll notice that the background of the icon is black. That'll actually downgrade my gun. Why they have that power-up in this game is beyond me. Maybe they wanted to make it a little tricky. Um, so I definitely don't want that. And um, it's especially important to know that because... Um, when you die in this game, you you actually don't lose your power-ups. It's one of, like, the few games in this style I can think of where you don't lose your power-ups, or at least get downgraded when you die. So, you know, don't pick up those black guns, or guns with the black backgrounds. You're going to downgrade yourself. Uh, otherwise, there's pretty much no way to downgrade until you game over. I think if you game over, you downgrade. Um, but if you don't game over, then you don't downgrade, so... And we should actually have a lot of lives by the end of the game, by the way. Uh, so we're going to be pretty, pretty close to maxed out on firepower. I've had my uh, my wavy shot up to like six times. No, seven times. I got it up to uh, seven shots I can have on screen at once. And I think it might even go up higher than that, up to like eight. 
Um, so you can actually get really powerful in this game, and it, it's it's great. So. So those are just bo bonus points we picked up. Nothing crazy there. And that's a heart, which we don't need, but we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and get it anyway. We're gonna I I, I in games like this I pick up everything um, that doesn't harm me. So this I still have no idea what that does, but when you know we pick it up anyway. And that's it. I think we're gonna be on to our first boss now, which is actually the Joker before he was the Joker. Okay, no, there's another full level. Okay, cool. Cool. So Batman on the Game Boy is actually not a terribly long game. When you know what you're doing, you can literally just blaze right through the game. And it's it's just, it's, it's so much fun just tearing right through this game. And again, like I said, I'm taking it relatively slow. Um, but man, just trust me when I say it's a really fun game to just like blaze right through when you know what you're doing. Uh, especially when you like, you, you run into it with a game plan. Like you're like, okay, I'm just going to stick with the wavy shot. I'm going to skip every letter I see, unless it's a W. Um... And, you know, when you're thinking like that as you play, it just makes things uh, even more interesting, I, I feel. Okay, so this is an actual gun power-up. So now we can shoot uh, three bullets on screen at once. And one of the cool things about this game also is that you can mash the button really quickly. We're going to do a baby jump there so we don't pick up that power-up. And actually what I should get into the habit of doing is not shooting these black blocks until I'm past them. I think that's an extra life, yeah, I remember that from on stream, and you can control your jump there to get that life and come back. And that's a heart, we do need that this time. That's normal, we don't want that. Bonus points, I'll take that. So the uh, with the wavy shot, typically it goes over a block if you're right in front of it. But, uh, if you sit right, literally touching the block, you'll actually hit it. So, let's pick up these bonus points. So, like, right here, okay? My wave shot's going over it. But if you get right next to it, you'll actually shoot the block. So, just good to know if you want to try to get every single block in this game for, you know, some extra points or something like that. Um... Now, I have no idea how to get that, uh, that extra life. I, it might just be like a troll extra life. Because I don't... Ooh, oh, that's right, never mind. So, oh, we died! <laughs> we died going for the extra life. Actually, come to think of it, I remember... I remember that, uh, block appearing there. It just, it, you know, my mind was drawing a blank when I saw that extra life. I was like, I don't remember how to get that. Uh, keep in mind that I am still actually relatively new to this game. I've beaten the game twice now, uh, as of last night. I beat it twice, back to back. Uh, the first time I played through it, it took me about an hour to finish it, I think, for the first time. Maybe maybe even just a little bit longer, uh, as I was trying to figure out the stages. You know, most of the stages, up to a certain point, weren't very difficult, but... As you can see, it does actually have some, uh, some relatively tight platforming. Um... And the last level was actually really tough. Uh, it's an auto-scroller with lots of pits, uh, lots of uh, turrets firing at you. Uh, it's actually an extremely dangerous level. And uh, as you could tell, when you die in this game, you go back to the very beginning of each uh, level. Um, so we have to go through that whole section again. And it's good I actually got this, because that's, again, my shield. And I'm gonna have to wait for this platform. But you've got a long, floaty jump, so... Oh, that was bad. That was really dumb. Now I'm doing things I wasn't even doing on stream. Alright, let's make it happen this time, guys. So, one of the other really cool things about this game, uh, and I've been saying this game is really cool, and there's a lot of really cool things to it, but that's just the fact of the matter, is this, this game is actually really damn cool, I think. I think it's um, definitely kind of like a hidden gem on the system. You don't really hear people talking about the Game Boy Batman. You, you hear people talking about, like, the NES Batman. Nobody really talks about the Game Boy Batman, and um, I think it's definitely one of those uh, Game Boy games that deserves a little more attention. Uh, then again, a lot of Game Boy games as a whole deserve more attention. Not many people really talk about Game Boy games uh, that much these days in the retro gaming scene. Uh, it's all about the NES, Genesis, Super Nintendo, etc., etc. 
Um, but yeah, uh, NES Batman gets gets a lot of praise and for for great reason. But this is actually a really solid little effort, and I'm just gonna skip that. I'm gonna just gonna take the easy way out. Uh, this is a really solid effort. It's also by Sunsoft, and one of the great things about it, which is what I was gonna get to eventually, is the soundtrack. It's got that Sunsoft style, and uh, it's just a really solid soundtrack, uh, as you can probably tell. Uh, so this game definitely has a lot of things going for it. It's uh, just a really fun game. Uh, it's got a, a good bit of charm, actually, too. Kind of like the chibi art style in a way when it comes to Batman, but it plays very well. It plays very, it's very responsive. Your jumping feels really good. Uh, the attacking is fast. All right, so here's our first boss. You have to fight Jack, which if you've seen the, the original Batman movie, he basically turns into the Joker by falling into like this vat of toxic slime of whatever it's called. And there's a lot of detail, like like he he fell in, splashed. You saw the splash come up, and it's just, you know, it, it's obviously archaic by today's standards. But you guys have to remember that like the standard for Game Boy in this time period was like Alleyway and Tetris, you know, like Super Mario Land. Like I really think this is um, for the time. It's one of the best looking Game Boy games. I mean. This was, I'm gonna assume this was probably an early 1990 release, because the Game Boy came out in 89, Batman the Movie came out in 89, so they were milking that franchise, uh, that license, uh, at the time of this release. I, I'm going to assume it's an early, uh, 1990 game, so, which would probably put it, uh, very early in the Game Boy's life. Um, and comparing it to those other Game Boy games, it holds up very nicely, I feel. We're gonna go ahead and get that. You do have to be really careful with some of the platforming later uh, later on in the game. Well, not really later on, kind of like starting now. You'll notice the platforming is just very tight now. The platforms are very thin, so your accuracy has to be there. And this level does have the gimmick of uh, these blocks falling down. And this is just trial and error. Uh, I really should have done a practice run before going into this, because I, like I said, I am still very unfamiliar with this game. But ideally, you want to just kind of like bolt through this right here. Alright, we're just going to skip that and just keep moving. And that's a bad power up. So we're gonna try to do a baby jump here. Oh, okay, good. We missed it. Oh, see, I didn't want that though. Oh, that's horrible. That's okay. It's better than getting uh, the weapon downgrade. Uh, mainly because the downgrade doesn't necessarily downgrade what weapon you have. It changes. It decreases how many shots you can fire on screen at once, uh, which I definitely don't want to do. Like there, there it is, right there. Is another one. All right, so let's go ahead and pick up that health power up. Uh, and I'm trying to debate if I want to try to get that. Now nah, we're gonna skip that black block. Oh, I should have gotten it. I, I, I didn't think I was gonna have to come right back down. Now I feel naked without having the wavy shot. <laughs> All right, so let's see what we got here. More bonus. I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up because again, bonus can be extra lives. And we're gonna go ahead and see what's in here. More bonus. And this weapon stands for, I'm going to assume, uh, reverse or return or something like that. This is a little bit better than that short shot. It goes a little bit farther. Uh, it also comes back to you. So it seems like it does a decent amount of damage. More bonus. And that's the normal shot. I think we're gonna have to get that. Ooh, we didn't have to get it. That's good, actually. I'm gonna go ahead and stick with this shot then. Uh, actually, let's see what P is. It's just a bigger shot. I think it stands for, like, power or something. Well, this is fine. 
I'll stick with this one then. More bonus. Let's go ahead and just take these jumps really, really light, just in case. We've already lost a lot of lives, which I actually wasn't planning on losing really any lives in this playthrough. Uh, but that's the thing about like talking and playing at the same time. Is uh, no matter how comfortable you are, you go in and you start talking and playing. That's an extra life. You go in, you start talking and playing, and you start losing concentration. And uh, it just it is what it is, you know, when you're doing these let's plays. So, but uh, so we're in the uh, the museum, which again it's uh, based on the movie. So you do uh, visit a lot of uh, scenes from the film. Well, not really a lot. Uh, some, I should say. So the museum's in it, uh, you know, the basic city levels are in it. Uh, the bell tower... Let's actually go back to the normal shot. Actually, I probably should have stuck with the power shot. Oh well, not a big deal. We're gonna skip that bonus. Let's go ahead and see what's down here. More bonus points. Um, actually, it seems like... Ooh, see, that's a downgrade. Jump over it. I think up top was a wavy shot, actually. I really wanted to pick that up. If I recall correctly, I think it was a wavy shot. So guys here are starting to take more hits, which is why I still wanted my wavy shot, because uh, it's kind of powerful. That's a gun power-up, so now I can do five bullets on screen at once. Let's actually see what's down here. Heart, that's good. Extra life again. Yeah, this game really throws extra lives at you. Either ones just like right in your face or, or hidden ones. Hidden ones that are not really so much hidden, like you can see you can always see the extra life blocks, but they might be out of your reach. Another extra life. Wow. They might be out of your reach to where you have to get uh you you have to find hidden blocks basically. Which is cool. I like that. I like how like they, they put these power-ups kinda like near you and they're like find me or find out how to get to me. And uh, I always like it when games do that. Try to figure out where the, uh, the hidden platforms are, basically. I think there might be one in this level, actually, where we have to discover some hidden platforms to get to, uh, uh, to an extra life. So that's S. Definitely don't want S. And let's go ahead and skip this, just in case. Heart. Okay. The reason I'm skipping uh, the black blocks at certain parts is because uh, I don't want it to be a gun downgrade. Um, and the upgrade is going to make more of a difference on the final level. We want to be as upgraded as we can for the final stage on the auto-scroller. Levels like this where you can move really slow really aren't all that bad. Use another gun upgrade. So now I can fire six shots on the screen at once. You look at how fast I can fire. There's no auto-fire in this game, so you mash uh, as quickly as you can. And bonus points. So this is uh, this part of the level actually has uh, a couple of interesting gimmicks. Uh, I don't know if you can see on sc on screen, but there's a couple of like black notches in the floor. Those are basically like uh, sort of like not really invisible floors, but you can go through them and fall down to the bottom, which I don't want to do. Uh, I want to say towards the top because I think there's some better power ups up here. So there's one right here. We have to watch out for that. Again, look at like the little black notches. It's very subtle. And I really don't know how people would tell that's there on the uh, traditional Game Boy screen. Uh, I actually haven't played this on a traditional Game Boy screen yet. Oh, there's the W power up. Awesome, we're back. So the wavy power up, not just, uh, you know, waves, and that's a gun downgrade right there, but it also goes through walls, which makes life a hell of a lot easier. See, there's an extra life right there, but I actually honestly have no idea how to get that. No clue. Uh, Batman here doesn't have like grappling hooks or anything. Uh, so typically when there's an extra life up like that, there's some hidden platforms, but I am not able to find those platforms. So. Oh well, not a big deal. We're gonna try to jump over here. And I just realized there was actually a uh, little hidden section there where you can um, 
you can actually walk through the wall to the right. Instead of falling through it, you can actually walk through it to the right, and that would give you some uh, extra power-ups and so forth. So the game does have some secrets like that. There's another one right here, actually, just like this. Very good to know, because, like, these power-ups are really nice. The, uh, the bat power-up, basically. Alright, so let's wait for the platform to come back over. I like how the game's got platforming, but it's not, like... Like, the platforming in uh, Super Mario Land was very difficult, very tricky, because of, like, how kind of, like, goofy the movement was in that game. But the movement in this game is super smooth, so the platforming, even though it looks tight, is actually really smooth. Uh, so yeah, there was basically no boss fight on the, uh, the level 2 set of stages, but now we're on level 3. And, uh, this is a shoot 'em up section. So we have two or three of these. I think it might just be two. I don't remember. Um... And, uh, we fight a couple of, uh, bosses on, on this stage. Uh, boo, this set of stages. And the bosses can actually be, uh, pretty tricky if you're not familiar with shoot 'em ups or not very good at shoot 'em ups And you'll see exactly what I mean on the, uh, the main boss of this level. Uh, interesting thing here, though, you can just hold down the fire button and you can shoot in both directions. Even more interesting is you can literally just hold down both fire buttons and shoot in both directions at the same time. Uh, it doesn't really stop the, uh, the rate of fire. Although, if you really wanted to, you can mash on the fire button as fast as you can. And I recommend doing that on the bosses, if you can. Uh, you'll actually take out the bosses faster. But for now, we're just gonna hold down, hold down both buttons at the same time. And, uh, it'll make life uh, considerably easier. You can just focus on moving at this point. And not so much on firing, since you're just holding down both A and B. So, yeah, I really like this shoot 'em up section, actually. It's not too complex, but it, it's almost... A little reminiscent of, uh, the shooter section in, like, Super Mario Land. I know I've mentioned Mario Land quite a few times already, but, you know, same time period, basically. And, uh... So they both have, uh, similar elements to one another. And I'm basically gonna mash as fast as I can to try to take this guy out faster. He would have taken a couple more cycles if I was just holding down the fire button. Alright, so that's 3-1. We're on to 3-2 now. I like that, uh, that screen-scrolling effect. It's really cool. Not something you saw on a lot of Game Boy games as well. So, I mean... For being such an early Game Boy game, it's really got a lot of, like... Good NES qualities from the time period. You know, some... Background shifting and so forth, distortion and... Or deformation, I should say, which is really cool. Uh... It's got some good pixel art, you know, the backgrounds look solid. Uh, I'm gonna have to fire this up on the old Game Boy just to see how it looks there. Uh, in the old, you know, on the old green and whatever screen. I'll just call it black and white, but it really, it's just like, really dark greenish colors. Um, on the classic fat Game Boy screen. I actually don't really miss playing on the original Game Boy. Like, I actually really like how the Game Boy feels control-wise, you know, it's... Uh, just kind of like the perfect size for my hands, and, uh, I like how the buttons feel. Um, but I don't like how the screen looks at all. Uh, it's very difficult to see, uh, games well in this day and age. Game Boy, um... Pocket isn't much better. Fortunately, Game Boy Pocket's at least actual black and white. Um, but if you can get like a game Japanese Game Boy Pocket with the light on it, it's much, much better. So this is the boss uh, I was really thinking of. Uh, it can be a little tricky. I found that if you just kind of like sit back and then move back, it's easier to deal with. But if you're like circling around and stuff like that, you're probably going to get hit and it becomes difficult very quickly. So that's pretty much it. We're on to the, uh, the final set of stages now. There's either two or three levels here. I don't remember which. 
There might be two levels in a boss fight, or there might be three levels in a boss fight. I just don't remember. So the game's not terribly long, and I've actually made it longer than it actually is because, you know, we're at the 30 minute mark or so. Um, but if you blaze right through it, you can beat the game in like 20 minutes. Um, so, all right, let's do this, guys. We're towards the end of this Let's Play already. Uh, that little canister icon I just picked up, you might have noticed, that actually kills everything on screen. Uh, or almost everything on screen. Right, sometimes you can just run over this, just like that. I noticed that if you're firing, it won't let you run straight over it. All right, we've got a heart. These are... Lots of canisters we have to blow up. Oh, cool. Another bad icon. That's good. And that's a gun power up. So this will give us our uh, seventh shot. And what I'm going to try to do on the uh, final stage is pick up an eighth shot, which I haven't done yet in uh, my playthroughs of this game. So I do want to find out if we can actually pick up 8. And I think this is going to be a power-up I don't want, so I want to just skip through. Yeah, it's the S. The S is the, uh, the short shot. Again, that's a little bomb. Yeah, I'd say even some of this music is better than some of the music in the NES game. Um... This main theme, uh, especially, I think it's really solid. It would fit perfectly with the NES Batman. I'm actually really surprised they didn't use any original NES Batman music in this version of the game. Uh, I know it was very popular for uh, some Game Boy versions of NES franchises to do that. Like Ninja Gaiden Shadow, for instance, uses uh, some Ninja Gaiden NES music in it, which is kind of interesting. Uh, but Batman on Game Boy doesn't. It's actually really interesting that it's got a completely brand new soundtrack, but it's also still it's still a really good soundtrack. Like, okay, this is our auto scroller. This is our final level. Oh, so you can only do seven shots. That was my last gun power up uh, in the game. Actually, no more gun power ups appear. Uh, but yeah, this is the auto scroller I was talking about. It's uh, very very difficult. So we're gonna try to use the wave shot and shoot through lots of platforms and so forth. The big issue here are these turrets. They can lock onto you, uh, as you can see. And there's an extra life right here. There's also a negative- Ooh! But there was a negative gun power-up, which I obviously wanted to avoid. But uh, what's kind of funny about your extra lives is if you go past nine lives, uh, it starts counting into the hexadecimal. Uh, it starts counting hex, so it starts going to letters, basically, so 10 lives is A, 11 lives is B, and so forth, and so on, and so on. Um, I basically got up to, uh, C lives on stream, uh, last night when I was playing this game. And, um, so you can definitely rack up the extra lives in this game, which is pretty cool. I love it when games don't cap out. And, um, they just... You know, the lives just keep going. Alright, so I'm gonna basically one more hit and I'm dead, so yeah. Like I said, this level is uh, quite tough, actually. I definitely need a, a heart pickup, if I can. Yeah, I knew I wasn't gonna make that. I had to jump backwards. I'm not paying attention now, because my cat's banging against the door, and uh, I'm just like, ah. Oh. So, uh, she has a tendency of distracting me when I, uh, try to do some Let's Plays. Alright, so let's focus here. After I beat this game for the first time, I decided to go through it again. Uh, and I just, like, blaze right through the game. I did this on my first try. Uh, I was just really focused, really, really focused, and that's really what this takes, is uh, a lot of focus, honestly. Oftentimes, uh, you can just duck those uh, turrets, the shots, which is what I should be doing.
All right, this is the last stretch. We pretty much made it, which is good. <laughs> and now when you die in the boss fights, you can just, you just start right back at the boss. So we don't have to worry about having to do that stage ever again, unless I happen to die eight times at the Joker. So this is our final boss, guys. Nothing too terribly crazy here. It's very much like the first boss fight. But he starts doing uh, spread shots, you know, he's jumping and so forth. So as you can see, the wave shot has its disadvantages on the boss fights. Sometimes the shots go over him. But also, when you get it lined up just right, it feels really good. And that's it. We just beat Batman on the Game Boy. And that's pretty much it. Uh, the credits are gonna roll. And uh, that's Batman on the Game Boy, guys. Um, you know, in some ways it's not the full-fledged game that uh, NES Batman is. Like, you don't really have many boss fights. Um, I mean, I guess you can consider uh, the shoot-em-up section, you know, it's got a boss fight. But it, it doesn't, you know, it's, it's... You fight the Joker twice, and then you fight a boss in the, uh, the shoot-em-up section, and then that's it. So, it doesn't have much in the way of bosses, unfortunately, but, um... Pretty much everything else about the game is really solid for, uh, especially for, an, like, a 1990 Game Boy game. Uh, very solid, if you ask me. Uh, good graphics, good music, a lot of fun to play. Um, some good gimmicks in terms of, like, the platforming and, and power-up system and so forth. Uh, and I highly recommend checking this out if you got a Game Boy and if you're into Game Boy, or if you got a Super Game Boy or a GameCube Game Boy player. Uh, we, we are actually playing this on the Super Game Boy, and the Super Nintendo is going into my XRGB Mini Frame Meister through RGB. So, nice clear picture here uh, with the old Game Boy. Um, but yeah, that's Batman, guys. Uh, I don't really know what else to say. And I guess the ending theme just rolled out. Oh, title screen. Okay, just took us right back to the title screen. Uh, so yeah, that's Batman again on the, any, uh, on the Game Boy, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this Let's Play. Uh, I'm Got, actually got a few more Game Boy Let's Plays up my sleeve for you guys. I've been playing, uh, since I got the Super Game Boy again recently, I've been playing a lot of Game Boy games on it through glorious RGB. And, uh, so yeah, watch out for some more Game Boy Let's Plays very soon. And, uh, post a comment below if, uh, if you feel like it. If you have any questions or comments, or if you just want to say, Austin, I love you, or I love your Let's Plays. Or if you just want to say, Austin, I hate you. You can do, you can do both. But, uh, that comment section is below for that. Uh, anybody that's new to my channel, feel free to subscribe. Um, if you liked the video, feel free to subscribe. And, uh, I am really trailing off right now. I haven't done that in a while. I'm like, I'm just like, oh. I'm like, it's, it's been like a 14 plus hour day for me. It's about time I normally go to bed. But, like, I'm like, nah, I'm just gonna do Let's Plays and Let's Plays with a fried brain instead. Um, uh, but alright guys, I'm out. Thanks again for watching. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Take it easy.